I've been drinking little alcohol bottles. Chris, he was a little tipsy and saucy. I only got a little bit of left. They do find it, and it sucks, but I'm gonna try to hide it. What are you thinking, Nathan? You nervous? A little. Me too. I don't know what kind of struggle we're gonna face with it, but we're gonna keep doing the same thing we've been doing ever since y'all were babies. I don't like doing any dirty work, so just wait till they start telling me to do so. I'm not probably not gonna like them already. I do not care about these people at all. Wow, it's like a ranch in their front yard. Are you serious? This is literally the middle of nowhere. They're yeah. here. All right. Let's go. Meet them. Let's Let's get go. It. Hey, I'll do it. I'm Danielle. I'm Larry. This is my hey, wife, Chris. Hey, nice to meet you. you. You're Chris. Here. How you doing, Chris? Chris wouldn't look me in the eye. It made me a little uncomfortable. Um, made me feel like he had something to hide. I'll just put your bags right here, and then we'll go on in. I had Chris and Danielle leave their bags on the front porch <laughs> in case they brought anything that wasn't allowed into the house. OK, no smoking, no drinking, no alcohol. That's pretty much my life planned out right there. Drink, really? smoke, and drink, that's it. Did you bring yours with you? Actually, I did not. You didn't? Mm -mm. OK, we're going to have an opportunity to see that, and I'll tell you what. These rules are not going to be bent. We are not going to do the things that we've just listed. And if we do, there are going to be consequences. What are the consequences? Well, they're not going to be fun. If we seem to have problems this week, y'all are going to become acquainted with a post hole digger. It's a tool that you use manually to dig a hole in the ground to put a fence post in. We're going to go through your bag. Whatever's in there is no strike against you whatsoever if it's given up now. But anything that's in there, it's going to be found one way or another. When we were going over the list of rules with them and I saw looks on their faces, I thought it may be a little challenging. Let's, let's see what you got. Chris uh, opened his bags. I was not 100% confident or comfortable about the situation. You've been kind of busy, huh? Worked up a powerful thirst. I honestly don't know why I gave up those alcohol bottles. I was kind of already drunk. I think you saved them off later. I was thinking in my mind, holy how am I going to get through this? I hate it. What do you hate? I wish I had it. You hate being honest? Nah. You hate giving it up? Yeah. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. That being thrown out, I'm going to throw this can out, OK? Yeah. I was proud of the little fella. So I wanted to let him see that, hey, I'm willing to give up something as well. And that was chewing tobacco. And me and you may chew some chewing gum this week together. But we ain't gonna do no tobacco. All right. And we ain't gonna do none of this. Is that a deal? It's only gonna yeah. hurt for okay. a minute. All right. Gonna tap this out, because there ain't much left in it. But... Look at there. When Larry laid the tobacco down as a challenge to Chris to lay down his alcohol, I felt proud that he would do that, because that's been a habit for him for years. Water the grass, bud. Pour it out, boy. You can do it. Doing this sober, it's not going to be so good. It's going to be like living in hell. We'll show y'all where you're going to be.